Hi. How are you? Good. How are you today? Good, thanks. Can you tell me who's out here? Uh, Derby horse wise? Well, yeah, yeah. Anybody? Not, no one yet. Nobody? No luck. No, uh, Derby horses have um, yellow, bright yellow saddle cloths. So any horses. Way, but he never came out there. Yeah. All right, they got to come out? Yeah, the, yeah. Is that, um, ha, ha, it's my first, well actually it's my second day back here. So I, but um, yesterday it was pouring and nobody was out. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, is it is it open to anybody to be able to come out here? Uh, I mean, to, on the back side, yeah. Is that right? Pretty much. Really? For, well, probably through tomorrow. Okay. And then, uh, of course, Friday. Back here is usually the owners and their friends and family. I see. Uh, you know. All back here, you mean? Yeah, trainers, owners, everybody. This so, is their area. All the high dollar people are <laughs> so you, there. But you can come out here. I see. So that's why. So anybody who's not media can come out and today. Right. Be, yeah, be look here. around, take some pictures. Oh, neat, yeah. neat. What uh, do you live here? Oh uh, yeah, Louisville. Oh cool. Yeah. So you come every year? Wouldn't miss it. Would not miss it. You new to the area? Well, a couple days ago. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm doing a video for a website called Kentucky Confidential, so I'm doing their video. But I, um, I mean, I love horse racing. I've just never been in this up this close to to it. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of impressing. It is. It's really neat. Kind of very impressive yeah. up close. So then, kind so of humbling. It is. Up close. You're right. You're you're absolutely right. More like that one. Well, look, thanks very much. I really appreciate your time. Excellent. Enjoy your time here. It's, Th thank you. There's nothing like this anywhere else on the earth. I don't care what country you go to. This is true thoroughbred horse racing at its best. Always will be. <laughs> Man, what a pretty horse. Yep. Uh, Rosie, can you, uh, why don't we go ahead and start off by, uh, by just uh, talking about this experience as it's uh, getting ready to run in the Kentucky Derby 137, your first. How's it feel? Well, this experience is certainly exciting. <laughs> um, no, it's been really great. The, uh, there's so much attention on all the horses and all the connections of all the derby contender, so I'm, I'm very happy to be here, excited, and um, I feel blessed to be here. Mm -hmm. Rosie, how much have you been following the other horses in the Derby? I mean, you, you make a point to read about who else is in there and what uh, riding style they have, and do you think a lot about this is what the pace scenario could be in this situation or that situation or that situation. Um, I'll become from as familiar with all the horses in the Derby as I can by reading about them, watching uh, race replays, um, and just to get an idea of um, who I would think is where. And in, you know, of course, in a field of 20, things happen, and everybody's going to have a plan A, B, and C. So um, you can get yourself as familiar as possible and then just see how everything pans out. But I, I will do, a, you know, watch a lot of replays and, and read anything about, you know, read the form in detail. And so you'll actually go to Replay Machine or Replay.com and look up the different races that you weren't necessarily in yeah, to see Sandy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about starting out racing ponies and how you got into doing all that? Um, I, I rode my first pony race when I was seven, and um, I was pretty much hooked to the thrill of... Rosie, when you were riding in New York, one thing I noticed is you're a really strong finisher. What do you attribute that to? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you were. Better um, than a lot of the I guys. Think, uh, just being fit and just um, uh, being driven <laughs> to get to the wire first. I mean, uh, some of the strength comes out of um, adrenaline, but, um, you know, it's something that you're... From the first time you ride a race, people are looking at how strong you look and how um, how well you finish. So it's something that I've worked on my whole career is to, to not just look strong, but actually really help a horse down the lane.
I know. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Are you a fan of uh, Rosie? Yeah. Yes. Is that why you came? No, uh, she's my daughter. Sort of, she yeah. Kind of <laughs> me, but it was perfect timing. Is that right? I'd like her to see a positive role model like that for women. I like no her. Question. She's pretty. Yeah, she's she's a writer also. She working some. Oh yeah, nice. Hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, Mr. Eckler must have already left. I can't seem to find. Him. What, what's your name? My name is Nick. And you work with Todd Fletcher. And what what do you do with Todd? I'm an exercise writer. So, uh, do you, are you based here? Well, basically in New York and Florida. But I told Todd I wanted to come home for a little bit, and he has a string here. So he was like, "You can send me there to the, you know, to the Churchill Downs crew for the summer." I was like, "That's fine with me." This is where your home is. Yeah, Lexington. So did you grow up um, with horses in the track? Or? Yeah. Oh, well, not the racetrack, all the farms. Like, my dad was a groom, my grandfather was a groom, and I didn't want to be a groom. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to be like, a, something, do something different, you know, like, better myself a little bit, you know, like, so I, went, I started riding, and I really liked it. You know, How long have you been doing it? Since I graduated high school in 04, I've been doing it full time and since 04, so I'd say like seven years. Mm -hmm. So, would you have any uh, aspirations with it to go anywhere, become like. Uh, maybe one day being a trainer, I'd say. A little too big to be a jockey. I would love to be a jockey, but I like to eat too much to be a jockey, you know? <laughs> what what what, is it, what will it take to become a trainer, you think? Or? Uh, probably being an assistant, getting up under like somebody like Todd, and uh, learning how you know he does things and learn how to he trains, and basically going from there and trying to get on it from there, you know? You well, got to put in your time, though. Do you have any, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, anything... Do you think that's going to happen based on what you're seeing now, or um, you have to? Would you have to go somewhere else, go to another stable, or? Well, it's, it's, it's a good. You probably could to see how another trainer does things different, so you can take what you learn from Todd and what you learn from another trainer and kind of mix and match and put them together and do your own thing. Or you can basically know how Todd. Todd wins a lot of races, so therefore, you know, learning stuff from him is not a bad bad thing any, either. You know. Does he take a lot of people under his wing, or? Oh yeah. I mean, he's got a reputation as being kind of a really, you know, cold, intense um, competitor. Uh, he does, but he, you know, he, he if, you're, if you're willing to learn, he's willing to help you, you know, so. How many people does he have working for him? Ooh, Todd's got, Todd's got strings everywhere, so <laughs> I'd say 150 to 200 people. Now, so you you grew up around here, so the Derby must be a big part of your It's uh, very big, yeah. yeah. What's that, I mean, do you have any favorite Derby memories or? My favorite derby memory is, I gotta say, Silver Charm for some reason. Silver Charm sticks out the most. Maybe because that's when I was young and that's when I was first really watching it. Or maybe that was because of a horse I really like, you know? I really like that horse, you know? So. You moved a little fast the last time. How you doing? How you doing? So you doing all right? Yeah, doing all right. Good. A little warmer out here now. Oh, yeah, real wonderful yeah. night. The weather's gonna be nice for the day. Shoot. It's probably be pretty nice doing the, uh, doing the Oaks End Derby. Do you, are you coming out? Are you? Yes, I'll be here. Do you work here or do you work? Uh, no, I got horses. I'm on my own horses. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got a couple horses I own. We're, um, yeah. Who are, are Anybody this week? Anybody? No, no, none of this weekend. Yeah, no, not this weekend. I'm uh, just out here trying to just enjoy the you know, Derby Fest right there. <laughs> See some friends and old trainers come into town and stuff like that. Uh, where are, where do you race? Uh, right now I race in Indiana Downs, Churchill, uh, Turfway Park. Uh, Fairmont Park and uh, Hawthorne. That's where I work at. We, we, what, we what's your name? Rick, Rick Civils. I'm sorry? Rick Civils. So Civils. we should look out for your horses. Yeah, I'm, look out for me. I'm coming. I'm up, up and coming a young man. I'm, I'm still young and new at the game. Been uh, in it for nine years now. So I'm doing pretty good with it. So I can't complain. I've won uh, eight races in my lifetime. So and that's pretty good for, you know, if you mess with the horses and stuff. So <laughs> hey, I'm hanging in there paying the bills. So. The, the more thing I, I just love it, just love the horses. So uh, I really enjoy it. Just just being out and you know getting up in the morning. But I, I work about ten jobs, <laughs> but it's the only job I love. You know, with the horses, I, uh, uh, relax. It relaxes me. So get out there with the horses, watch them train and stuff like that. So and uh, doing pretty good with it. So I can't complain. Yeah. How'd you get into it? I uh, got into it. Uh, I got into it about nine years ago. 
And uh, I come here all the time, you know, you know bat, and, and I got to really looking at the, the animals and stuff. You know, you, you, you get to wonder and said, you know, where are all these horses coming from, you know? So I, I got kind of curious, and uh, then a friend of mine's uh, I went to school at, Dirk High School, became a trainer. And uh, he came and talked to me, I was asking him about it, and uh, he, he went and got me into business, so I've been in business ever since. Old high school friend of mine. Oh, on your jacket? Yeah, my jacket. Okay, excellent. All right. Definitely. All right.